There are all kinds of life hacks. But for us ladies, there are a whole mess of girly hacks out there that serve us way better. Well, when it comes to girly hacks, there's a thin line between subtle trickery and full-on ridiculousness. Ooh, see what I mean? Oh wow, look at that natural beauty. Ugh, her too. What do these girls all have in common? Gorgeous freckles! Okay, let's see here. Do I have any hidden freckles in there? Nope, not a one. Wait a second. I think I may have a solution. Yep. Maybe I can do something with this henna I have left over from that birthday party I went to last week. Start by placing little dots on your cheeks. Keep going and add as many as your heart desires. And don't worry if they're not all the perfect shape. Real freckles aren't all the same either. Clearly, Amy wants to have a lot of freckles this time. All right, that ought to do it. And boom! A freckly goddess has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Those look pretty real, don't they? Ever wonder where girls get all their makeup and beauty ideas? Well, from looking at a magazine, of course. Wow, how does she get her lips to look so full and pouty? How can I get my lips to look like that? I wonder if Lana would mind if I borrowed some of her makeup. This lash glue could work. Maybe I could just make my lips look plumper without actually plumping them. Uh, Bella, don't you think that makes you look a little crazy? Hey, Lana, what do you think? Yikes. Looks like these girls could use a few new makeup hacks, don't you think? Hey, looking good, ladies. You've mastered the art of the selfie angle for sure. Hey, my lips look so dull next to your gorgeous pout. So not fair. See, Bella's pout looks plump and gorgeous. Mine just looks sad. Yep, there it is again. What can I say? I have nice lips. Genetics, I guess. Don't bother, Lana. Your lips aren't just going to plump up because you pull on them. But maybe there's something I can do. What? Where are you going? Okay, there's gotta be something here that can help juice these lips up. I wonder if this little vase could help. No one's watching. Let's give it a try. Whoa, don't suck too hard. Nope, not Kylie Jenner yet. Ugh, there's gotta be something else I can do. Whoa, I bet this giant vacuum could do the trick. Uh, isn't that suction a little too strong for your delicate lips, Lana? Wow, this thing sure is powerful! Yikes, did that hurt? Your lips look really red. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Lana? What the heck did you do to your face? I don't want to talk about it. It hurts too much. Too bad it's not Halloween. You could totally be a clown looking like that. You know, you could have just asked to borrow my lip liner. It enhances the look of your lips. And it's a whole lot less painful. Start by putting liner right where your skin meets your lips. Then take your favorite tinted lip gloss and apply it starting from the edges of your lips like so. Ooh, don't forget the top! Now take a white makeup pencil and very lightly outline the middle edge of your top lip. Then add a little bit of white liner to the middle edge of your bottom lip. Pretty cool, huh? See? Look how great Lana's lips look now. See? This trick's a whole lot easier than sucking an empty jar. Let's try these selfies again, shall we? Oh yeah, that's much better. Looks like another school picture day is upon us. Come on, the more we wait, the more nervous we're gonna get. Sophia, you're up! Yikes. Didn't you get any sleep last night, Lily? I don't know how I'm gonna stay awake for this. I look okay to take my picture, right? Um, have you not looked in a mirror yet today, Lily? Oh no! These bags under my eyes are atrocious! I have concealer, but I'm not sure it's the right color for you. But this lipstick ought to do the trick. This stuff's gonna save the day, trust me. What? Lipstick for my eye bags? I'll give anything a try at this point. If you have dark bags under your eyes, red lipstick can be used to cancel out the color. Simply dab it on lightly just like this. Once that's done, use a blending brush to smooth things out. Yep, just like that. Pretty soon the colors will start to cancel each other out. But to combat that leftover color, dab some concealer on top. Once you've dabbed that stuff on, blend it in with your brush. 
looking good. Hey, your bags are gone, Lily. That's one awesome trick. Hey, looks like they're ready for you. Vicky saved your butt today, Lily. But next year, try to get some sleep before the big day. Sometimes when you're talking on the phone, you get a little distracted from the task at hand. Even if it's something as simple as putting on your makeup. Um, Mia? I don't think that's lip liner. Unless it's Halloween, black liner on your lips is definitely a no-no. What? I can't believe he told you that. Yikes! What did I just do? Oh man, I could've sworn this was my red liner. Wait a second… Let's roll with it. If you put on lip liner that's too dark, try this trick. As you apply it, keep blending it into your lips like Mia's doing. See? It's creating a cool ombre effect. Wow, what a dynamic look! Way to add a little edge to your look, girl. When it comes to having fun with makeup, it's all about happy accidents. Ah, <sighs> finally, a night off with absolutely nothing to do. Huh? Who could that be? Shoot, I totally forgot about my date! My hair's still wet. Oh god, come on hair, behave! Oh man, I'm all out of soda. Oh, I have the best idea! Thank you. This cup is about to save the day. Have wet hair? Try out this hairdo hack. With a cup to your head, take strands of hair and twist them one by one around the cup like this. Don't forget the bobby pins. Pin your hair down so it stays put. Keep going. Finally, you got all your hair up there. Don't forget to pin that last piece. Last but not least, whip out your hair dryer and get blowing. All dry, time to take the cup out. Watch as Amy's strands fall into perfect curls. Wow, since when did Amy turn into a hair model? Girl, you're officially date ready. Wow, how'd you get your hair to look like that? Oh, I just did a little trick. No biggie. Wow, Amy, you look stunning. Oh, I know. Shall we go to dinner? Looks like Bella's taking her precious time doing her makeup again. Let's go, we're gonna be late! Sorry, I still have to do my eyeshadow. Oops! Come on, Bella, the least you could do is hurry things up a little. Wow, that shade of blue is so pretty. But all that blending action doesn't come without a price. Gah! What's all that dust under my eyes? Get out of here! Uh-oh. Bella, what's that stuff all over your face? Ooh, that's too bad. But we can go now, right? You'd better sit tight, Lana, because this little mishap set you both at least 20 minutes back. Whoa, Bella, what on earth are you digging in your backpack for? Why do I have all this stuff? Uh, who carries a plunger around with them? Okay, is this some magic bottomless backpack or something? Ugh, come on, it's gotta be in here somewhere! Okay, please don't tell me that's what you're looking for. Wow, is that a real sword? I'm so borrowing this. In fact, this would go great with my outfit for tonight. Well, if we ever get out of here… Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for! If you find yourself in a situation like Bella, little panty liners like these can save the day. For this, you'll need a pad and a pair of scissors to cut the pad into three parts. But you'll only need the two edges, not the middle. Now stick the pad right under your eye with a straight edge on top. Go ahead and do it to the other side. Oh, looking good. Now put on your shadow the same way you normally would. See? You don't have to worry about the extra dust getting onto your face. 
Whoa, that's pretty messy stuff. All done? Now it's time for the moment of truth. Now that's a clean line, baby. Perfection has a name, and it's Bella. That could have been on your face. That sure was impressive, Bella. So it's finally time to go?